Did you know that an average person will spend three hours per day checking work emails and two and a half hours per day for personal emails? And we don't just check it once a day, usually on average 23 times. I am totally guilty of that. Email addiction is real. Sometimes it makes us feel like we're doing real work and being really productive, but we're not. So in this video, I want to share with you my favorite tool to get that freedom back into your life so that you can have more time to spend on more valuable items and actually become more productive, whether it's your creative work or running your own small business. It's called Sane Box. Years ago, I picked it up, but I had to scratch that itch of wanting to check my emails and just be busy on my phone all day. Now, a few months ago, I tried Sanebox for the second time, and I have new methods, best practices I wanna share with you in this video so that you can leverage Sanebox as an accountability partner, leveraging best practices, not just build better email habits, but actually eventually grow your creative and your small business. Breaking a habit is really challenging. Best things about Sanebox is that it comes packed with best practices and to help you guide developing new habits, Things like turning on do not disturb. Train your inbox into separate folders, such as saying later. Things that you don't have to do and deal with right now that you can do later, as well as saying news. Whether are these AI newsletters I've been getting or news in general from all the subscriptions that I have, they can wait inside their own little inbox. Also, there's something called same black hole. With same black hole, you don't have to unsubscribe from anybody, but simply drag and drop those emails into same black hole. Then you never have to worry about them or see them again. Last but not least, Samebox offers these white gloves, amazing concierge service. They literally hop on a virtual call, talk to you about your needs, your businesses, and help you set up Samebox so you can be most productive and confident in using it. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. So guys, I've already prepared this basically walkthrough blog post to show you some of our favorite features, how to get started with Samebox. The link at the top and throughout the article, you'll notice that there are links for you to sign up for Samebox with a free trial. Plus, if you decide to upgrade, I'm gonna give you $25 worth of credit as well. As you can see right now, by default, I have some new features and this is under my dashboard and I can start trying things as well. But remember at the beginning, don't try everything all at once, start slow. What do I mean by that? Let's take a look at my email inbox. So this is my work email. On the left-hand side inside my Gmail, I already have three things turned on. They are same black hole. So things that I drag and drop here, I'm never gonna hear from those guys again. I don't even have to unsubscribe. I don't have to tell anybody. It's just there, I don't see them anymore. I can take them out of same black hole at any time as well. Next is saying later and saying news. Now, these are the two common features I would say the majority, the same box users would use and get started with. Now, you may be really happy with saying later and saying news for a while, I don't know, a week, a few weeks, until you're used to these features. So let's click on saying later. So these are the non-essential emails, something I can ignore, I do not have to pay attention to right away. Now. If they have made a mistake, it's something that I want to see. I can always drag this, watch this back into my inbox and see what happens there is that immediately automatically labels that email with inbox. So moving forward, any emails like this, I'm going to get it directly in my inbox. I can also undo that at any time by right click and then move. Now I just move it back to saying later. What about saying news? Saying news is reserved for a lot of these newsletters and you know whether it's newsletters from these brands I subscribe to, I'm affiliate uh, marketer for, that's what it is. So really easily trained, go through your emails and see, you know, you need to correct something. No, don't get scared for the number of five, 6,000 emails. You don't have to review them for days and for months. Instead, start to pay attention to, for me, I would say just a few days uh, or maybe up to about a week of these emails gonna teach me a lot, which means I can communicate that back to Samebox. What does that mean? If Samebox is making mistakes of, you know, basically labeling something that really shouldn't be under Sane News, but something very urgent that should be in your inbox, again, you can always drag it back to inbox. Samebox is going to continue to learn everything that you do. It's monitoring your actions, taking notes. So the longer you use Samebox, the better it's gonna be. Now, I do wanna basically call your attention to the fact that depending on the plans, you will have different options. We're talking about a lot of different features here, but if you start with Snack, 
which is the first option here, it's only $7 a month, you get to choose two features, any two features. As I recommended, a lot of people do choose Sane Later and Sane News. If you upgrade to the lunch option, it's only $12 a month, you get to choose up to six features. So now we're talking about Sane Later, Black Hole News. I also have reminders turned on. I'm going to show you other features as well. If you upgrade to $36 a month, which is the dinner option, and you can connect, by the way, multiple email accounts, as you can see here, you have access to all features. So you don't have to limit yourself. Now, coming back to the dashboard, a couple of things that are really important. First is the folders feature right in the center here. We're going to talk about the other features in just a second. Click on your folders. This is really important because these are your trainable folders that are currently turned on inside your Gmail or inside your email inbox. By the way, same box doesn't only work for Gmail, but also other uh, inboxes and email clients as well. Now, as you can see, I have saying later turned on, news turned on. I don't have the CC turned on, I have black hole turned on. Now I can turn these things on or off very easily. I'm not gonna do that right now. Just something that you should really pay attention to. A lot of people get a little freaked out when they go to their Gmail, they see these folders, they do not recognize, they don't know what to do. Remember that you can turn that on and off at any time. Now let's go back to the dashboard. A couple of things I want you to really start thinking about is I love, love the digest. I am someone who would wake up first thing in the morning and throughout the day before I had same box and just keep checking my emails. Probably I've checked my email 23, more than 20 times a day without exaggeration. That is kind of the average times a lot of people will check their emails. What you can do right now is you can actually turn on digest. This is not a simple digest as you have witnessed elsewhere, maybe and you know on Facebook or Slack where you just tell them daily or weekly or uh, you know something very generic. But here you can actually train Samebox to send you these digests at any time during the day. But you can also set it to send you the digest at nine in the morning, three in the afternoon, or a couple of or a few times a day if you choose to. So it's really, really easy. You can also have the opportunities to block users you no longer want to hear from. So it really serves multiple purposes here. At any time you need a tutorial, you can be sure that whichever feature page you land on, there's a little tutorial you can click on. They're very, very bite-sized, like usually under two minutes, and you know exactly how to adapt that feature. Anytime you need to ask a question, their support team is very helpful. That's quickly on digest. Definitely explore this on your own. I also really like do not disturb. Now, if you're getting a ton of emails in the morning and you know that's going to distract you, you do not want to respond to emails, let's say before noon, your time, what you can do is you can actually turn on do not disturb and you know, you can start right now or you can add a daily timer there. It's up to you. Start a start time and end time. It's like having a partner who is there to uh, support you, be your accountability partner so that you don't have to worry about these things. And you can also set up reminders. This is something that I haven't really used as much, but I know it's really helpful. So imagine emails that you want to make sure you reply to, or after you send an email, you want to send yourself a reminder to say, hey, if John Smith hasn't replied within three days, I want to be able to follow up. You can set conditional reminders as well. So it is dependent on whether somebody replies or not reply to your email, that you're always doing the right things at the right time. A couple of more things I'll say here is one attachment. This is a new feature that I wish I explored earlier. You know that your emails, particularly around Gmail, you have a set you know, gigabytes of storage. And most people just keep upgrading, keep spending more money on the subscription due to so many attachments, so many large attachments. Now you can actually utilize these services, connect to these services. Like for me, I have the enterprise version for Dropbox, which means I have unlimited space. And what I want to do is connect to either Dropbox or maybe for some of you guys is Google Drive. Connect and you can store and view all your attachments there without basically clogging up your Gmail or your inbox, you know, regardless of your email client. I absolutely love this feature. All right, let's see the process and what it takes to connect Samebox to Dropbox. So first, after you click on Dropbox, this is the prompt. Here it says Sane Attachments is now enabled. Let's click away. This is turned on now. As you scroll down, you will notice that you can actually decide what attachments you do want to save. So here we only want to focus on the inbox. I don't really care as much about Sane Later and News. Usually I don't get a ton of attachments there. As you scroll down without clicking on the settings 
uh, at the top, it actually jumps you to this section. You can decide allowing attachment size that is smaller uh, than certain size, which means the attachments will only be migrated and moved to Dropbox when it's over, let's say, 256 kilobytes. You can also decide to remove attachments once it's uploaded to SaneBox, or you can leave the attachment in if you want to. And you can say, save a copy of the original email or not. Add link to email at the top and sender reference, etc. So I usually just leave everything as is. I, I tend not to change it up as much. It is that simple and it's done. Now, one more thing I want to mention is deep clean. Now, deep clean is something that you can rescan, scan at any time. A lot of people don't have this turned on to use right away, but it's really helpful. Uh, now, as you can see, last scanned for any emails older than December 22nd. And basically, I'm asking SaneBox to look at my emails. I want to see if there's anything you want to get rid of and just trash them and save a ton of space. So this is something, maybe a feature you can consider a few weeks into your journey under SaneBox. So let me know in the comments below how you use SaneBox and any other tools you find helpful. I'm here to learn because I think all of us have spent too much time, we're spending too much time daily on our email inboxes, especially when we're creators and small business owners. And every day we're just monitoring our inbox and taking precious time away from the work that we truly love to do, the time from our family and friends. So with that said, if you like this video, please check out the next one. I'm gonna see you right there.